Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Carl's Copters. If you haven't seen the channel before though, don't forget to subscribe and check out the other cool videos and reviews that I've done. Okay, right, I'm back to this Kodak camera. And this camera is a pretty good camera. I've used it for quite a few times now, well quite a lot to be honest, for my YouTube channel. But lots of you are uh, saying how good is it? Now I've had this now for about a year now, this camera. And it really does well, the quality is really good. And it's called the Pix Pro AZ421. So there you go. There it is on the instructions, digital camera. So all you've got to do, if you're after a cheap camera, just to start you off on YouTube or just take pictures, then check it out. And I've used this camera in the pouring rain and left it just running while I was doing the video in the absolute pouring rain. And it works perfect. Now, it doesn't say it's waterproof, but I just thought, you know what, I needed to do the film. And so I just left it running and I just thought, well, if it dies, it dies. That's the way I look at it. <clears throat> right, the reason for this video that I'm doing today is to reflect back on uh, how it's performed over the year. And I've really have used and abused it and it looks almost brand new still. And also someone commented where is the memory card for it. So I'll show you where the memory card is and then we'll get on from there i don't want to spend too much time on the camera because i've already done the, the review on it already so you click this where your batteries go and that's your battery the rechargeable battery in this bit here now your memory card is right next to it there you go and i use a 16 gig uh, sand disk so it goes in there all right so you can interchange it and put whatever you want in it and it just clicks in and locks into place like so right we'll have a quick look at the camera literally a quick look now, I've used this for YouTube and all sorts. Plus, I also use for YouTube my phone and like a GoPro as well. All right, turn it on. There you are. Look at that. Look at that. And there's your settings. It's got like pet mode and all sorts of stuff like that. And snow mode. And it's really easy to uh, set up and everything else. So that's really good. Uh, like I said, it's, it, it is a good camera. And... Uh, uh, it all depends on what you want, really, what you're going to use it for, etc. Yeah, so you can change the modes like that. Look at all that. Rich shutter priorities, apertures, manual, face. You know, it, I've been through it before. So if you want to check it out, by all means. Um, and it's got lots of different other features and the quality of it is really really good and not too expensive neither so uh, I'm uh, pretty made up with it really so we'll have a look at it and it's the, the lens comes out there look just look at that I mean look we'll take a picture take a picture of this bowl of fruit here are you ready I'd say cheese, but it's banana. Ready? Now look at that. I don't know if you can see that. It does multiple frames as well. There you go. There's the quality. And you see that so crisp, crystal clear and everything. It's amazing. It really is. There's a couple of other pictures I've taken. Really good quality. And I've used this in the rain as well. Don't forget. So... And it's still survived. I've been to the canal, done all sorts of pictures. And and the quality is, I mean, you can't really fault it. I've left it running the rain, works perfect. Uh, well, as you can see, nice wet days. So I'm going to leave you with that note. So if you want a really good camera that's really cheap, compared to other cameras it's decent quality it's a nice heavy duty camera i suggest you get it the only downside is you don't get a bag with it so what i've done i bought a camera case separate 
heavy duty and that always protects it you know one of these here put the instructions in all a bit so foam line but other than that it's great so thanks very much for watching if there's any questions at all you really need to know let us know give us a shout on the comments below and what have you and then i'll try my best but obviously i've got so many things to do it's unbelievable but i'll always try my best to uh, help out if i can thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe thanks